Hello, so coming back to the series of videos where we are implementing social login, so letting our users log in with their social accounts inside our application. Previously, we've already added social login with GitHub, so our users can log in with their GitHub account, and we also save their basic GitHub profile information, like their name and their profile picture. And now we're going to add the same for Google. Now, while implementing GitHub, you should have noticed that we quite often reference this other gem, Omnialt Google Auth2, for the documentation. And now we're going to finally implement this gem. And this time it's going to be much easier because we've already previously laid the fundamentals for social login. We've already added the gem device. We've already added the gem Omnialt Rails CSFR protection. We've created the uh, Omnialt Callbox controller, we've required it in our roots, in our user RB, we've created this method to either find or create a user based on the data that the API sends. And uh, in device RB, we have a place to save our API keys. So now let's just implement this additional OAuth strategy that is going to work in parallel, unobstructively from Google. So users will be able to log in with both Google and GitHub. So let's uh, make it work. We are going to grab this gem gem omnial google of 2 and add it to our gem file and now we will bundle and what should we do next of course we should get our api keys so you should go to console developers google.com and get a couple of api keys now how do you do it you should uh, land on a page like this and you should be able to create credentials now if you're not able to create credentials you might first have to configure an all content screen and it's quite easy con to configure I can't do it once again from this account, so I'm going to create credentials. And in create credentials, you should press OAuth client ID. Here, what are we going to do? We will name our application. So first, web application. Well, Ruby on Rails is a web development framework. And we will name it, let's say, Super Rails. OK. Then authorize JavaScript origins. Let's say it will be our local host. And authorized redirect URIs, it's going to be the local host slash users slash auth slash uh, Google or auth two slash callback. So users auth Google auth two callback looks good. Okay, now let's create this. And here you see we got our client ID and client secret. So we've got our Google API keys quite easy. Now we are going to add them to our device. So here we will say config omniauth, Google or auth or auth two. And here we will add the client ID and the client secret. Okay. Then what do we do next? We should also add this Google Auth2 inside our user RB. So here we see the Omni Auth providers and we have GitHub and we are also going to have Google Auth2. Okay, and uh, also going to our Omni Auth callbacks controller, you see we've got a method to invoke GitHub and we would need a similar method to invoke, invoke Google. So we could just do it like we copy it and say Google of two, but you see we've just like duplicated most of the code and it is definitely a bad solution. We should make it uh, more sustainable. So we can make it like this. We will say def uh, Google and def GitHub. And when we get Google and GitHub, we are going to process this uh, same request. So we will say, if we have Google of two, we will say handle of Google. And if we get GitHub, we will say handle auth GitHub. And here we will just have handle auth kind. So it is the params that we are passing like Google or GitHub. And here we can just replace this GitHub with kind. And here we can just say uh, just auth data. So looks cool. And basically, you see, this way we made our code much more sustainable for the long term. So if you want to add a few additional OmniAuth solutions like uh, Twitter or Facebook, you could just add Twitter or Facebook like this. Okay, anyway, it works. Uh, it should work now. So let's actually check if it works. I'm going to start the Rails server. Refresh. And you see, now we also have a button to sign in with Google Auth2. So 
Let's press the button and here comes the moment of truth. Yes, so I see the screen to log in. I press an account and you see, I get my name from Google. I get another image from Google. I am logged in with uh, this Google email. I see that I logged in with Google and this is my Google ID. So it kind of works. And that's basically it. It was really easy to implement an additional OmniAuth strategy when we've already implemented one before. And uh, thanks for being with me and have a nice day.